One of the benefits of being minimalist is to have extra time. Extra time to spend with family or friends. But let's be honest, the chores that we have at home never ends. Yes, we still have to do laundry, fold or clothe. And although we don't have that much clothing, we have a pretty good laundry system. Every other week we wash our clothes so we don't feel that we need to do laundry really frequently. As well, we wake up early to do laundry so we could be done by 8 a.m. It's getting warmer and warmer here in New York City and yes, I am so excited about it. I love summer, I love spring. Anyways, it was time for us to take our fun out of the closet. Our closet is magic. In that closet we can have a lot of things. <laughs> Anyways, and as well, it was time for me to just exchange the shoes in our closet so i put all the boots and winter shoes at the bottom and take out all the spring sandals shoes and put them off the top so we're gonna use them more frequently <music> One of my biggest chores are the plants. For me, it's one of the most complex chores that I have. Because I don't want to overwater my plants. Trust me, I have killed so many of them by overwatering them. So I really want to take my time every week to see what plants need water and which ones don't need water. In the spring, it is the best time for me to take care as much as I can. So they will keep growing, new leaves will come up and they will get getting stronger and stronger for the cold weather. Although plants are the most complicated, as I say, <laughs> sure or project that I have, I don't know, it's like this love and hate relationship that I have with plants because I love my plants so much. They bring me so much peace and happiness when I see new leaves coming up and when they are doing so well. But to be honest, Sometimes they stress me out so much as well because 
when I see them that they are getting weaker or I see leaves dying or I see them dying. It just stress my life so much. <laughs> I don't know. Somebody else has this love and hate relationship with plants. I love watching YouTubers that dedicate their channel on renovating their homes and when they do these big holes of new decorations for a specific season to just decorate their home. But as a minimalist or living simple, I know that I am not going to go and buy stuff to bring at home just for decoration and only for a season. It just doesn't make sense for me. Although, I love to wash that. <laughs> so, what I do is that I love moving things around in my apartment. And it makes could seem like I got new things. This is just like a small tip that I want to give you instead going to go and buy unnecessary things that maybe just for a season or they are just trending and maybe you won't use them again or maybe you won't have the space to put those things away when the season is over maybe just maybe you just can move little things around things that you already have trust me it will trick your eye and your mind thinking that you did a big change in your home when it was only a small tiny change and without spending extra money
so yes we do have a system for the laundry <laughs> let's go back into this topic we have a system for our clothing every two weeks and what we do with the sheets is that we do sheets every three weeks meaning we have three pair of sheets so we change our sheet once a week and every three weeks we have to wash the three of them what i like about this system is that i don't feel that we have to do laundry twice a week or three times a week or you know we do weekly one day a week we do laundry one week we do la clothing laundry another week we do sheets and another week we do uh, towels and that's it so it's like yes we do it every week but we don't do multiple days during the week i don't know i have, think that it's a really good system and it just makes it a little bit more enjoyable than doing a lot of laundry every single week For me, it's really important to have or apartment something that kind of looks nice and clean and neat. So it is important for me and to my husband as well to fix little things that bother my eyes. Example, I used to hate that corner with all my yoga things. It just looked crazy. So I found that basket in the lobby that somebody donated. I pick it up and it was just perfect to hide all my yoga things. As well, I have had that box of toilet paper for over six months in that corner. It was making me crazy. So it was time for me to figure it out where to put the extra toilet papers that didn't fit in the big basket. Guess what? It is in the magic closet. <laughs> I put everything there. As well as every little detail in your kitchen. Go and fix it if it's something is bothering you and you notice that it doesn't look nice and neat and clean. Just go and do it. Trust me, after you are done with those little things, your mind is going to be clear. I think that we do have a little problem. Do you see the bag that is right there? It has been sitting down there for weeks, maybe a month or so, I don't know. And the white bag that you see there is clothing and shoes that I took out from the video of donating or cleaning up my closet that I have not taken to the donation store. So. There it is. I need to take all those things out. But I sat down through the bag and I just check it out. It was nuts that my mother-in-law gave us. So I just go through to see what we are going to keep and we are not going to keep. And just put it away. Because if you just don't take the time to do it, that bag, at least for us, can be there for another six months just sitting down there just sitting down there so it's it's interesting because although we are like to have a really nice clean neat apartment sometimes even my husband don't do those little details i don't know i think that is my problem that i'm going to pay more attention uh, not doing that And 
it's just interesting because as I have been editing this video and recording this voiceover, I have been noticing that yes, we do have a simple lifestyle. Yes, uh, we have less things, but not, we are not perfect. We are not a perfect minimalist. We still sometimes have a little bit of mess here and there in our apartment. No, I am not perfect as a minimalist because sometimes, yes, as I say, like I am not going to go and buy extra stuff or decorations in my apartment, but it doesn't mean that I don't think about it. It doesn't mean that sometimes I don't want it. Sometimes I do want it. So it's not about being perfect. I have never thought that there is a perfection of anything, but something that it is important is to be conscious be conscious of what do you really need be conscious of who you really are and as right now i'm just being conscious of maybe we do have a little problem and leave things out for a long period of time instead just put things away things that maybe just maybe is we have to find this place and that's the problem. Maybe we don't have the specific place to both put those things on. So we just keep them out. I know how I'm sure sometimes feel like a never-ending process and it is but as well if we start living more simple reusing what we have and bring less things to our home we will have extra time to do things that we really love as well I do think that having a schedule of when to do those chores is amazing, especially if you have the help of your partner. My husband does so much at home. Actually, he does way more than what I do about cleaning and doing chores at home. I just don't usually record what he does because at the end of the day, this is my channel and he appears in the videos only when he feels like being in a video. He doesn't want to be recorded every single day. He doesn't want to be recorded or being in a video every single day. He just be in the video whenever he's willing to appear. I hope this video inspire you to go and do a little reset in your apartment, maybe let go of those things that you really don't need and keep those things to bring you happiness and just be content in the process that you are right now. I am Melly and on this channel I love to share about minimalism, blogs and traveling. Thank you so much. <laughs>